Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can work with test case design classes. First, let's understand what is a test case design class and why should we use it. Now, test case design class in Tosca helps us to minimize the redundancy in our test sheets. So we can create a test case design class for attributes which are repeatedly being used in different test sheets so by having a common class which has got the common attributes you can just use the references of this class in different test sheets so that you don't need to create this attribute uh, a number of different times or multiple times and then you can also centrally manage uh, if there are any changes to these attributes or instances Let's look at an example and try to understand this in a better way. So I have opened this uh, vehicle insurance application. And as you can see, there are different types of vehicles here. Automobile, truck, motorcycle, camper, right? But what you will notice is if you look at the automobile uh, section, you will see there is enter vehicle data. And then there are some fields here, right? Now, if I go to truck, you will see the same section, enter vehicle data and there are some common fields in both of these sections there are some additional fields here like the payload and total weight but apart from that remaining things are all same right now similarly for motorcycle and for camper also you have got some similar fields right and as we know these fields could be uh, converted into attributes and instances in our test case design sheet Right? So that's how we design our test cases. Now, if I go into Tosca and I've created these two different sheets, you can see for one for automobile and one for truck. Right Now here you will see that uh, I have created uh, these different attributes for enter vehicle data. Okay, so these are all the fields which are present and then it has got its respective instances. Right, Each attribute has got its own instances. Similarly, I have created another sheet called truck and I have created another attribute with uh, all the different attributes and instances. Again, we are duplicating uh, the attributes in both the sheets and also the instances, right? So as you can see, there is a case here to make it redundant, to not repeat or use the same attribute multiple times. We can reduce our efforts and time in creating these attributes and instances or even later on uh, maintaining them if there are any changes we can uh, create a common class which can contain all these common attributes okay and then we can centrally manage them uh, in that particular class now coming to how we can create a particular class so we can do it multiple ways uh, one way is to go to a folder uh, which is your test case design folder right click on that and you will find an option to create a class so i can click on this and it will create a class here right now inside this class i can add uh, the attributes and instances so whatever i require or whatever is needed uh, for different test sheets so these are all the common attributes uh, which we have entered here right so this is uh, the manual way of uh, creating the class the other way around is you can create a class from a module also okay so how you can do that is let's delete this class and now um, i will take this module called enter vehicle data and i'm going to drag it into this particular folder and now you will see that uh, it has created a class on its own called enter vehicle data and it has got all the different attributes and instances obviously i need to uh, make some changes here uh, all the instances may not be correct here right but my main aim of creating a class is to have these common attributes inside this particular class i can add or remove any particular attribute I can change the instances values here okay 
but then uh, this is the central place where I will managing all these common attributes and now instead of creating attributes manually or adding them manually to my sheets multiple times what I can do is I can use the class reference so now if I remove this and I just go ahead and select the sheet I can now drag this class into my sheet okay and then also for the next one I can do the same now here you will see that uh, this automobile test sheet is using a class reference okay and uh, same for truck it is also using a class reference okay so it is just a reference to that particular class uh, also if I make any changes here like if I delete this particular instance okay the same will be reflected here so now you can centrally manage your changes across the attributes which are commonly used in different sheets okay so if you are using a particular uh, class reference whatever changes you make in the class will be reflected in the class reference now for example in the truck section okay uh, i need to add some more attributes uh, and i don't want to use this class reference so what you can do is you can resolve the class reference so right click on the class reference and there's an option to resolve class reference and now it will uh, convert it into a simple attribute like it was previously and then i can go ahead and i can add my own attributes here right so like for example in the truck section we had payload and total weight so i am going here and i'm going to create payload and uh, total weight now once you resolve the class reference there is no link between the class and this particular attribute so now it is not centrally managed for this particular attribute okay but this reference is still there now if you want to jump to the reference class you can right click and click on jump to reference class okay so this way you can uh, reduce your redundancy across your test sheets by keeping your common attributes inside a class and then using that class reference across different sheets now it completely depends on uh, how you want to design your classes whether you do it from the modules or uh, you can do it uh, by creating a class manually and then adding all the attributes which you think could be used multiple times across different sheets okay so this was a simple example where uh, you can use uh, the class and there could be several uh, places where you could use classes so just like test case libraries uh, which increases the reusability factor classes also helps you to basically reuse uh, something what you have already created you can reuse it multiple times across different test sheets that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video